second savvy secret is um, the reliance on the short game to get him out of trouble. Now again, that's, we can look at that from a very flamboyant angle. Um, but we can also look at it that Seve spent an enormous amount of time bashing his way out of the woods, bashing his way out of the rough, bashing his way out of car parks and all of those things. Those make great stories. But actually that's the way most amateur golfers play. We fire them all over the course. And if you then can think, well, how does Seve manage to win five major championships, um, be number one in the world, 87 um, uh, you know, uh, tournaments around the world and, and create this aura around him, this outstanding talent that came through short game. Let me just read you a few quotes that I've managed to pick up from the last few days. Um, Seve himself wrote in 1979, I'd like to see the fairways more narrow, that way everybody would have to play from the rough and not just me. Um, in 1979, again after he won at the Royal Livingston Downs, he said, They say I get into too many bunkers, but it is no problem, I am the best bunker player. Uh, Colin McLean, who was the chairman of the championship committee after Ballesteros' 79 win again, said, The winner, Seve Ballesteros, chose not to play the course, but preferred his own, which can mainly consisted of hayfields, car parks, grandstands, dropping zones and even ladies' clothing. Dan, Jekin, Dan Jenkins, the uh, legendary uh, golf writer, wrote, When Ballesteros triumphed at the British Open in 1979 for his first major win, he hit so few fairways off the tee that he was often mistaken for a gallery marshal. And um, Nick Price said, I've always said that most of us could shoot 65 in about 30 or 40 ways. He could do it in 10,000 different ways. He could miss every fairway, chip in five times and hold two bunker shots. So that whole understanding of the way that Seve utterly managed to kind of dominate the whole short game, I think is incredibly powerful for the average amateur golfer and it was incredibly powerful for me because when I really started to focus on the short game it's when I realized that you know you can pull so many bad tee shots or not particularly iron shots back I never regarded myself as a particularly accurate iron shot player the only thing that I became very good at to break par ultimately was my short game and most of that came through the influence of Seve. It came through the influence of two other, a cousin of mine who plays off four or five, uh, and a friend of mine who plays off plus one and has played off plus two or plus three in the back. And they both managed to play not particularly good long game either, uh, but a staggeringly good short game. So that lesson for most of these guys, but particularly from Seve, is that he was able to fire it all over the course, as I have no doubt you possibly do sometimes, but rescue it and actually the ability to get good at your short game isn't, you know, doesn't take that long if you go at it the right way, the kind of way that we teach within the break bar blueprint. Most of which are the principles in the short game. Certainly, I have to say that I got from Seve.